Hey everyone, Cloud here, and welcome to my guide on the Merlin's Crystal Quest. Now then, there are no specific requirements in order to complete this quest, apart from you need to be able to defeat a level 34 enemy, who's fairly easy, so you shouldn't have any problem against that, and you need to be able to defend against uh, level 30 renegade knights, but you won't be fighting them, you'll just be simply running past. Uh, that's it for the requirements, and for the items you will want some bread, a bucket, insect repellent, and bat bones. However, all of the items I've just listed can be found during the quest, so there's no need to actually go out and get them. You can easily acquire them throughout it. The only things I recommend is perhaps bringing some food for the fight against the 34 enemy if you're uncertain. So that's it for the requirements and items. Now onto the quest starting point. So we're currently at the Sears Village Lodestone, which can be accessed via the Lodestone network. If you don't have this one unlocked and want to unlock it and others, I do have a guide which is listed in the description below, so make sure you watch that. Um, it's very helpful to have the Lodestone network active for when you're completing quests. But anyways, from here we're going to head to the quest starting point, which is in Camelot Castle, which is to the northeast of you. If you just follow the main path, you will come up to the big castle and you can't miss it. Once you arrive in Camelot Castle, speak to King Arthur in order to start the quest. So speaking to King Arthur, he'll give you a quest to help free his friend Merlin, which has been trapped in crystal by Morgan Le Fay. Um, so we need to get some information first on how to release him, and Arthur will tell you to speak to the other knights. Now there are two knights you want to speak to. The first is Sir Gawain. Um, he'll be in the same room as King Arthur, or out in the courtyard, and he'll speak to you about um, Morgan Le Fay knowing how to release Merlin. Make sure you ask the relevant um, option. Once you have done that, you want to go find Sir Lancelot upstairs and ask him if he has any idea on how to get into the keep, and he will inform you about um, Keep of Fate can be accessed via um, the sea. Um, make sure you do speak to these two properly, otherwise you won't be able to continue with the quest uh, if you haven't. So now I've spoken to those two, we need to head to Catherby. Um, we could walk, but we're going to cheat here and use the lodestone uh, to the Catherby, so make sure you do that via your lodestone network. Once you arrive, you want to head to the docks and speak to a man called Arhain. Um, talk to him and he'll find out that he sails to the keep to deliver resources. Now, you would ask him if you can um, get a lift, but he won't allow you to, so you need to find another way to reach the fort. So this is the point you want to have your stuff ready for combat, as you'll be fighting the uh, above-mentioned enemies earlier on. Once you have everything that you want, like weapon, armour and food, you want to head to the candle shop where you'll see a few crates and there'll be a large one that you can click on to hide inside. Um, there'll be a load of dialogues, so just like click through that, none of that's relevant, and basically the crate you're in will be put on the uh, boat and be taken to Keep Le Fay. Uh, at one point it will then come up asking if you'd like to get out of the crate, say yes and you've arrived. So once you arrive at the keep, you want to head inside and go to the very top floor where you'll find Sir Mordred, um, talk to him and you'll then proceed to have to fight him. Um, he should be fairly easy for you to kill as I'll demonstrate, um, you know, you don't have a, a massive level in order to defeat him and again you've got the food if you need to. Um, just as you're about to defeat him, uh, Morgan will appear begging you not to kill her son. So, in exchange for sparing his life, she will tell you how to release Merlin and tell you the number of things you need to free him from his prison. So the items we need are Bat Bones, uh, a Black Candle and Excalibur. So we're going to start with the easy one, Bat Bones, which is actually just outside the keep. So if you head all the way down to the bottom uh, level of the uh, keep, you'll be able to go out the front door and you'll notice there's some bats outside. Kill one of those and grab some um, Bat Bones. Once you've done that, we now head, uh, need to head back to Catherby and go back to the candle shop that we uh, got in the crate, which was just outside. Once you arrive at the candle shop, you want to speak to the candle maker and ask him uh, if he's got any black candles. Uh, he'll be unwilling to give you one, but he'll ask you if you can bring him a bucket of full wax that he'll allow you to. Um, so in the house just north of the bank, uh, you'll find that there's a bottle of insect repellent on the table. Uh, make sure you take that as you'll need this to obtain it. Now you want to head to the beehive, which is towards the west of where you are. Again, you shouldn't be able to miss it. Um, just as you go inside, you'll notice there is a bucket that spawns next to the gate. Make sure you pick that up. And what you want to do is use the insect repellent on a beehive, which will temporarily uh, drive the bees away. Then use the bucket on it to obtain some wax. And now you have that, you want to take it back to the candle maker uh, to trade in for your black candle. So the next thing we need is Excalibur, uh, which is in the possession of Lady of the Lake, who can be found uh, southeast of Taverly, like in a little peninsula. Um, so if you head to Taverly using the Lodestone network, and then head to the Lady of the Lake uh, in the direction I'm heading. So 
So she'll be willing to give you the sword, but first she wants to test you and she'll ask you to go meet her at the jewellery shop in Port Sarim. So head to Port Sarim via the Lodestone network. Once you arrive, don't head straight to the jewellery shop. Um, go to the food shop, which is just south of where you are, I believe, and go inside and buy a loaf of bread, as you'll need this in a minute, as I uh, mentioned at the beginning of the quest. Once you have that, head to the jewellery shop, and as you go to open the door, a beggar will approach you and ask you some bread, um, hand it over to him, and it will turn out it was the Lady of the Lake who is testing you, and will now give you Excalibur in exchange for passing the test. The final thing we need are the magic words that we'll need to control the spirit that we're going to summon in a little bit. Uh, and we want to head to the Zamorakian church in Varrock, which is located in the southeast part of the city uh, where you do like the Demon Slayer quest, etc. Um, if you head to Varrock using the Lodestone Network and then head to the location that I am. Once you arrive, right click to check the altar and the inscription on it will say Snarfon Kandrick Tomanto. Um, you'll need to use this um, in charm and incantation even um, a bit later, so if you don't think you'll remember it, note it down, but I'll tell you it again anyway, so don't worry too much. So now we have everything we need, um, the bat bones, the black candle, Excalibur and the magic words, we want to head back to Camelot uh, like you did earlier on. Once you enter the grounds, don't go into the castle and head to the northeast area and you'll find there's a uh, stone gazebo which has got like eight columns um, and inside on the ground is a 12 pointed star. So this is where you want to stand um, to do the ritual to free Merlin. So make sure you do everything in this order uh, and do it carefully. So first you want to light your black candle within the structure so make sure you're standing on the spot. And then you want to drop the bat bones. Don't bury them, just make sure you right click and put drop. A ghost named Frantax and Mighty will appear and you'll be prompted to say the magic words. And for those who can't remember, it was Snarfon Kandrick Tomanto. Um, the ghost will now be under your uh, possession and will ask what you want. Um, he'll tell you, uh, you will tell it even, sorry, um, to free Merlin, uh, which will inform you to head up up to where he's trapped and use Excalibur to destroy the crystal. If you don't do the incantation correctly he will start attacking you and you'll need to re-obtain your uh, bat bones in order to do this process again so make sure you are a bit careful. But once you've done that head inside Camelot, uh, in Camelot Castle even, and from the southeast corner of the ground floor, again you'll see where I'm heading, you want to climb to the top of the tower and you'll find Merlin imprisoned in the blue crystal and then with Excalibur in your inventory smash the crystal to release him. Merlin will thank you for freeing him and will tell you to go speak to King Arthur um, in order to finish the quest. So congratulations, you completed the Merlin's Crystal Quest, you're awarded 6 quest points, Excalibur, um, a replica of Excalibur will be placed in the Varrock Museum and talking to historian Minas, he'll give you 5 kudos and a lamp for 1000 XP which can be used on any skill above uh, level 20 and 2 extra spins on the screen of fortune. So yeah, a very good quest, uh, I particularly like this quest series, um, there's a couple of sequels from this one, um, the Excalibur sword is very handy um, once you, if you have the level to use it, um, it's quite a decent weapon um, and also the amount of quest points you get is very impressive six quest points is probably one of the highest amount you can get um, except for like grandmaster quests etc but comparing the difficulty of this quest to those is very uh, decent reward um, if you run into any problems at all or get stuck I doubt you will um, but make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll help you as best I can if not thank you very much for watching please make sure you like favorite comment subscribe and don't forget to share with your friends cheers guys bye